Hey folks, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm today. Got a cool hack I want to show you here on the farm. That's what this video is going to be about. A cool hack. So I had a fella send me a message about my John Deere Gator and those ridiculous 20 inch wheels that I put on it. The tires are like this wide. They're like 275, 45 ZR20 tires. They're slick. They don't work worth a crap. And we have snow on the ground. And when I took it out yesterday to go out and feed the goats and check on the animals, it just went just stuck. So I'm going to show you how to unstick a car with zip ties using zip ties as snow tires. So hopefully this works. We'll try it out. And if it doesn't work, then you'll know that this hack is busted. So let's go have some fun. Let's get the gator out. All right. Woo! Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. So before we start this video, guys, are you frustrated with your gas cap or your gas can? This is the old style back before the government regulated gas can. And I've got some of the new styles over here I'll show you. And I'll also show you something that I order for every gas can that has that new style, ridiculous, spill proof, spill everywhere gas cap. I'll post a link down below to it and I'll show you here in a second. Watch how slow this thing pours in. So this is the old style gas can and it's gurgle, 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 slow and frustrating and annoying. If you want to put some gas in a machine, I got some interesting stuff over here. New nozzles you can put on your gas cans that are for water cans, quote unquote, and they pour fuel fast. This takes 10 minutes to pour five gallons of gas in my gator. So it ain't no secret we go through a lot of fuel on the farm. We go through a lot of diesel fuel. We go through a lot of gasoline, non-ethanol gasoline, regular gasoline. We go through a lot of fuel on the farm. And most of your newer fuel cans come with this. This is a diesel can, by the way. Come with this ridiculous apparatus that is just, for lack of better words, it's just stupid. It's just government bull crap it's just stupid the, the instructions on this thing i don't know how many of you people have broken one or how many of you people have been frustrated but it's ridiculous it spills fuel all over everywhere it makes a huge mess and there needs to be a change there that's my rant now let me show you what i use as a solution for this rant so you might be able to see i've got some old style gas cans back here i bought a bunch of gas cans if you go to a yard sale and you see a gas can with a regular spout on it buy it i don't care buy it buy it buy it here is the solution to the problem. Now you can buy this as a kit and it has an extender on there that you can make it really, really long. They come with two different types of caps so you can fit any type of gas can. This is a flexible tube and it is a easy pour gas cap. I think that's what it's called, easy pour. I'll post a link down there below. And in case you guys didn't know, anytime I'm working on the farm, down below in the video description will be links to the tools and products and things that I use on the farm. But let's go out and get stuck in the snow. Woo! So just to be abundantly clear, I have not tried this yet. So this is a theory that this is gonna work. I haven't tried it yet. At the end of the vlog here, I'm gonna post a link to the zip ties that I use and to a product that's made for this. I found it online, there's a product that's made for snow tires for the winter to get you unstuck that you can keep in your car. It's simple and easy and you don't have to put chains on your tires or call a tow truck. Something pretty handy. Everybody should have in their car. I'll post a link down below to that. I've ordered them but they haven't come in yet. All right guys so here's what the Gator does in the snow with the Z-rated tires. That's just what it does. And I should probably be doing this out in the field instead of in my lawn. My wife might kick my butt, but that's okay because it's my lawn too. <laughs> Let me show you the hack. Here's what I'm going to do. I've got some extra large zip ties and I'm going to wrap them around the rear tires in about four or six different places and we'll see if it works as snow tires. Here's just one more example of what the Gator does in the snow. That's it. All right, let's shut it off. So it's no big secret. I'm a huge fan of zip ties. These are called USA Strong. They're 18 inch heavy duty zip ties. They're 175 pound tensile strength zip ties. They're pretty big zip ties. I'm sure you could do this with a smaller one, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna try with some bigger ones here. So let's throw those over in there. You can see 
that's a substantial size zip tie. So I'm gonna take a couple of them and attach them together because they won't reach all the way around this big old giant ridiculous wheel. So we'll do three 18 inch zip ties attached together. And I'm gonna get wet and muddy on this, so who cares? Go around. And my mind tells me to leave them a little bit loose. So we'll put, I'm gonna see if two will do it. Two 18 inches might do it. If I could put the zip tie together correctly. Yep. So two zip ties will do it. All right. We're learning here, guys. So I'm taking the zip tie and I'm putting the little nip, the little nipple where the thing, this little portion where it inserts. I'm gonna put that right in the center of the tie. And we'll go around and put a few more. This is why you should have zip ties in your car all the time. Any vehicle you have should have some zip ties in there. Just in case. We're just gonna do one of these tires and see what happens. So if you're doing a regular car without ridiculous crazy 20 inch wheels on it, you might have to pop the hubcap or do a little bit of feeding, you know, through little tiny holes, but this wheel makes it so easy. We'll just wrap it around here. Oh, I'm getting fat, I'm getting fatter. Okay, there we go. Now let's see if this hack works. See what happens. Let us reflect. This wheel was spinning like crazy two seconds ago. I think it's gonna work. That's my theory, it's gonna work. Contact. All right, we're in two wheel drive and that's the wheel that likes to spin. So let's see what happens here. Let's take the brake off. Just like with any part of my world, the darn wheel that was spinning stopped spinning and the other wheel started spinning. So we're gonna go ahead and zip tie the other wheel too. Let's, let's just put five zip ties on each wheel, see what happens. Okay, so we got five zip ties on each tire and now we'll give it a shot. And I'm gonna lock the lockers so both rear tires spin and see if this works. It may not work. We're on a pretty steep grade. Let's check it out. Ha ha ha! It does work. Barely. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, so we're moving to a fresh spot of snow here in the yard because I want to make sure that I'm right. But so far, it looks like they kind of work. Uh, I have both rear wheels spinning in a, in a pinch. If you're on ice, I think it would work. The ridiculous thing about this is that I have these tires on and they're running the wrong direction. I've got these Z-rated tires and when I installed them on the Gator, I use an adapter kit and I didn't pay attention to the direction that the tread's supposed to go. So it's even worse, it's even harder to get it unstuck. So let's try it again in this little spot on fresh snow and see what it does. We're in high, we're in two wheel drive, and we're gonna go. Now before it didn't move at all. Nice, nice. Here we go. Zip ties will work in a pinch to get you out of a snow bank or get you out or off of ice or snow. They add just a little bit of uh, grip. They add just a little knob for you. Um, I think if we're gonna run these tires, we won't run them in the winter time, but we will run these in the summertime. They leave a little bit less of a footprint in our pastures, so that's kind of nice. The Gator is a very lightweight machine. I'm sure we'd have a whole lot better luck if we had a couple bags of sand on the back there, but who knew? It works. Kind of cool. So thanks a lot for watching Stony Ridge Farmer today, guys. I appreciate you. Come on back and see me. Click the like button, please. Click that like button. If you didn't click the like button, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video, and we'll have some more good farm fun. All right? See you next time. Well, Woo! come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. One thing this set of tires and these zip ties is really good at is desodding my darn pasture. 
whoopsie daisy big old chunk of grass came up there is a better product and i will post a link down below and we'll try that out next time it snows there's a zip tie product that you can zip around your tires and it has studs on it so it's really really handy i forget what it's called it's called the zip grip i'll show you real quick so that's the zip grip pretty cool little design there these these tabs fit on your tire so i ordered these and this is the price point i ordered two packs of them and as you can tell, the company is not paying for it. I, I just ordered them because I thought it was something cool to show you. So if we get another snow this year, we'll slap some of these guys on there. The zip ties worked okay, just regular zip ties, but uh, you know, they lacked in a little bit. We'll try the zip grip too. Just thought I'd let you know what the product's called. And I'll post a link down below to those things. Something I think you should keep in your car for sure, especially if you live in a place that gets snow and ice. I can't wait to get the mud off my camera. Woo!